Now we're going to use the Logan three-step oval and circle mat cutter to cut an oval mat. First, what we do, so let's have a look at this cutter first. Now this is the Logan three-step cutter, and it's called three steps because it just takes three steps on the cutting arm in order for you to cut through the circle or oval. Now it will make both circles and ovals. First, I adjust my width of my oval. So I'm going to make a six by nine. So I'm going to adjust that by putting this little arrow at the six and tightening that. Now you can have any fraction. You don't need to be six. And there's also millimeters here. Then in here, I adjust the differential. And this is, you unscrew this little knob right there and slide this to the number. So my six by nine, I'm going to need three. Okay, so I'm all tightened up. Now this has four little white marks on it, and these have to be lined up with your pencil marks that are in the center of the board. And our cutting head right here rides on this arm, and the blade sits right here. And the blade is protected by this little wheel, and this lever is going to be used three times to allow the blade to penetrate the board just a little bit at a time. So right now it's in the position to protect the blade so it won't get into the board yet. And get your little pokies in order and push them down very strong. Give it a good, use your palm of your hand and push it right in. And you should feel the mat attached plus your little slip sheet should be attached to that. So if they both move, then you know you're in the right place. Now that this is in position, now you take your blade and your hand, put your thumb over the top here. I'm going around. Now in your first position, all you're going to see is just a little kind of an indentation that the wheel makes. Now we're going to go into our first gear. And we're going to go around. Now our second gear. So this is our three steps. Because this is a wood pulp board and it's pretty hard to get into. And to ask a blade or a cutter to just jump right into the board and make the cut, you're not going to get as nice a cut. This will be a very nice cut. Okay. And there is our cut. Now, you've got to remember to keep your hands clear and don't change hands. If you're cutting this way, don't go and try to do it this way and get your hands over there. You want as consecutive or as clean a cut as you can get. Just keep the circle going nice and even. And go slowly when you're doing the cuts. You don't have to be real speedy and fast, but you can see you get a perfect cut. See the little areas here where those pokes come out right there? And you'll get a beautiful cut. Full rotation, keep your hands clear, and you'll have beautiful ovals or circles.